to Zenikar 2 with me Zara, we'll bring you happy days! So in this video, I want to react to beautiful Pakistani wedding in the mountain. This video from Eva Jubek vlog. Alright, let's start! This is Jamalabad, a small village in the mountains of Pakistan. It's home to a few families from the Wahi community, an ethnic group scattered across these lands. A lucky coincidence brought me close to one of these families, and they invited me to attend and document their eldest son's wedding. But first, we had a mission to complete. I accompanied Said, one of the younger sons, on a wedding invitation run. Said, so what are we doing here? Uh, we are here to invite our relatives in Farway's wedding. No, it's not easy. In Wahi culture, it's basically kind of impolite to call someone to invite them to your wedding. You have to send a relative, a family member in person to your family members' homes in the other towns and villages and invite them personally. Now we don't always know the exact address of a family or a home in a village so we literally are walking around some of the villages and asking people do you know this guy, do you know that guy, where does he live, where do we go and that's how we manage. And trust me not every village was easy to get to. Oh my god I did it! We did it great! Our invitation run took us far and wide into many villages and valleys in the area and then disaster struck. Of course, something like this had to happen on our errands and invitations run. Flat tire, my very first puncture in my life. I'm gonna take it as a sign of good luck. Okay, it looks like there's progress being made. We're fixing something. This is the spare tire, which looks really tiny to me. And here we are starting to lift the car. How exciting. And back on track. We had so many more invitations to give out. iron my dupatta and knowing my ironing skills, this will take a while.
guests who are coming in to wish the family all the best for the wedding. Yes, this is technically day one of the wedding, but nobody is getting married just yet. Today is a day for the local families to get together, share food and bestow blessings on the ceremonies to come. So it's finally my turn to try the famous chamurki. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. It is basically like a very milky, smooth, soupy kind of thing with sponge up bread inside. It's quite good. And it's a lovely way here in this ceremony to start the wedding celebrations. At the end of the meal, The work on the Shapix has continued well into the morning. We're on the next day of making them and finally it's my chance to try and make one as well. So I'm just about to start making one of the Shapix, one of the typical local breads that we make for weddings and that we have been making for the last 24 hours, I believe. I don't know how many have been made, but I estimate about four to 500. <laughs> <laughs> the moment of truth. Okay, like this? Yes, yes. It's yes. Got it? Okay, while I've been trying to make this one shepik, this lady over here has already made three, I think. <laughs> Yum. Grandma C, I'm learning. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Eva's shepik. Right. Imperfect, but done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we put it on the stove. It's not a perfect circle, but it's edible. Yeah, Good yeah. shabash. Good shabash. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, outside, the men are busy with a very different kind of task. Okay, we'll do it. Cut.
Throughout the duration of the Wahi wedding, there's quite a lot of different rites of passage and different ceremonies. In this particular one, which is called Shupurjum, this one takes place just before the wedding, one day before the wedding, and it takes place at the groom's house. There's a separate ceremony at the same time in the bride's house. This is where both of them get ready and get dressed for the wedding, and where the initial blessings are bestowed upon them. And just when you thought it's all serious blessings and stern faces, the groom's family lined up a slightly less formal event. So now that these blessings have been bestowed and the official part of the pre-wedding preparations are done and finished, people start to party in honor of the happy couple and the lucky people sure know how to party. Let me show you. That is a power cut. <laughs> and now we wait. Let's hope that this party didn't finish before it began. Finally, it arrived. The third day of the celebrations. The day that everybody's been waiting for. Today, Praveys and Praveen finally tie the knot. Wahi people have their own language, music, poetry and traditions. These drums and trumpets, you won't hear their music anywhere else. Only here. My host family explained some of these traditions to me. The Wahi symbol I love the most is the eagle that soars high above the Pamir Mountains. Traditional And the bride actually get married formally in the Jamaat Khana. <laughs> That's just about to happen. The new chapter is about to begin. It's so exciting to see it. That's not the kind of music they play at weddings in Pakistan. <laughs> Thank you. 
faster than the wind and the party resumed in full swing. Wow, the wedding party of Pakistani couple, wow, it's so amazing. It has so much symbolic events and it held at some beautiful places in Pakistan. This traditional wedding party, it's so kinship and there are so many delicious foods. Wow, Pakistani wedding party, it has several days of the pre-wedding events and everybody enjoying the wedding party so much. And the unique thing in this video is about to tell their neighbor about the wedding party. They have to come to their house and then tell the wedding invitation. I think this is a unique thing because you know in nowadays we can share the wedding invitation on the social media. But this Pakistani couple still doing this traditionally. It's so good to maintain the culture. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video, but don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. Okay, see you in the next video.